me, and I consider myself a DI donter. My husband is definitely a bigger DI donter than I am. He's a Kali the guy kind of a fella. That's right. Instead of a DIY kind of a fella. Um, is everyone capable of any DIY? No. No, but, uh, but that's you. okay. Awa Thank you awareness for just is half of it. admitting that. Awareness is half Some of it. Some of us yeah. cannot DIY. Yeah. So sometimes there are DI don'ts. There are. Do you have some general guardrails or guidelines for Guard DIY versus don'ts? Guardrails is the perfect way to say it. Because really, everybody can do some DIY, but some typical things that you want to stay away from are knowing your capabilities. The first is time frame. Yeah. Timing, you wouldn't think, would be a indicator on whether you should take on a DIY project or not. My rule is two weeks or two weekends simultaneously. If you don't think you can pull it off or if you don't have enough time to dedicate to that, two consecutive weekends, you're going to lose motivation, okay? And your craftsmanship level is going to start to fall. All right, and you're going to end up like most people with unfinished projects. So I like Timing that. is first. Next up is DIY projects. I don't want to call them like gambling, but they're kind of like gambling. They are gambling. Right, <laughs> which you don't gamble unless you're willing to lose it. If you haven't done it before, this could be something to at least evaluate. So I'm not trying to scare anybody, but just think about it. If it's going to be a big financial investment, maybe tap the brakes just for a second. All right. Okay, the last thing is really categorical, electrical and plumbing. I've been doing this for almost 20 years, and I know how to do electrical, I know how to do plumbing. I still hire people to do that work for me because... Absolutely. These people are licensed and insured, right? So if something does go wrong, or if there just is a fluke, yeah. even just damage, yeah. right? Having to be able to just make a phone call and say, hey, this didn't work, come back and fix it, you're gonna be covered. That's what I do, that's what I do with all of my projects. It's just the best way to approach it. Good, okay? good man, now, good okay. man. But there are still some things that we can do. There's plenty you yeah. can do. There are things we can do, and in fact, we got a cute, cute young couple. They just bought their first house. I know, they're right here, they're here with us today too. have got that they wanna show us. Let's, okay. let's take a but look. Let, let's take a look, let's <laughs> check out their projects. Hi, Rach, I'm Trish. Hey, Rachel, I'm Sean. And this is our new house. So this is our kitchen. I'm not a huge fan of the color of these cabinets. Neither am I. We're thinking about painting them instead of replacing them to save a lot of money. Trish and John are here, so you're gonna walk them through those first couple of projects, yes? That's right, so you guys are in the kitchen. Great place to start with a brand new house. Now, cabinetry, it's cabinets and it's appliances. Those are the two most expensive spots you're gonna address in the kitchen. Now, if your cabinet boxes, not the doors, but the boxes are in pretty good shape, refinishing them is a great option. However, people think, oh, I'm just gonna save money by painting them myself. A great cabinet finish is oftentimes a sprayed finish with a material called lacquer. All right, it's very hard, kind of like a candy shell that's very, very resilient. Now, if you're just doing it with like a latex out of a paint bucket, it could be cheaper, but you're gonna end up having to refinish those very soon, which ends up costing more money. So this is kind of a hybrid DIY and don't DIY. The DIY portion is the prep part. So we have a cabinet here. We're gonna show you what you can do to save yourself tons of money. So instead of hiring a professional that could cost 5,000 plus, us to refinish your cabinets. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all the doors. So you can just get a drill, take off all the hardware. Here, would you mind holding this sure. for me? This is a, a, a two-person operation. So we're just gonna take off all these, drop as many screws as possible. In fact, when you take these screws out, it's good to save them, but I like to replace all of them so we can just throw these out because we're gonna get new ones. <laughs> okay, next up is actually prepping, sanding the face frames. The face frames are these, this front part that the door mounts on and the outside of the boxes. What we wanna avoid is getting paint on the inside, and to do this, we're going to actually use painter's plastic, which is just this thin, very inexpensive plastic you can get anywhere, and painter's tape. Now, the technique I use to mask off the inside of the cabinets is just take some tabs, right? So here, just like this, uh -huh. all the way around. So I'm just gonna cut you small ones. You want me to push nope, this? No, so no, we're gonna pull don't. it out, we're gonna stick the, the plastic I'm to it. I'm ruining it! It's okay, it's all right. We're still okay. in DIY land, this is okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is end up putting this all the way around the inside of your cabinets and then take your plastic, and this is when it really helps to have a buddy. I can't reach that. It's okay, here we go. We can do it messy, we can see it still works. <laughs> okay. It's easy. So now we're gonna do this, and we're gonna actually put this right on the edge. I like to fold it, behind, what? just like this. Start on one side. It doesn't reach. Well, uh -oh. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Good enough, see, the paint's not gonna get there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, we're gonna sand it, and then you bring in a professional. Oh, man, call Angie's Come on. list. Yeah. <laughs> but, but this is gonna save money. You're gonna get your painting costs down in the couple of thousand dollar range. There's so nothing to mess up. So do the sanding and make the guy from Angie's list paint. That is correct. <laughs> Makes sense? We can do All right, that. You can do it. Yeah. I think we can okay. do that.